She's a Mona Lisa. Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a vision board slash digital planning tutorial. Um, yes, I just started digital planning um, last year, 2022. And um, yeah, I've been doing vision boards for as long as I couldn't remember, probably at least 15. So yeah, but um, I've been doing them on Canva for the la last couple of years and I wanted to give you guys a little tutorial. I am not an expert at this under any circumstances and there are people who have complete channels um, that there are people who have complete channels dedicated to um, digital planning and um, people who have more in-depth videos about vision boards. So 100% um, go check them out. I will have some of my favorite creators linked down below. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I know about it and the things that I do for it. So yes. So just to give you guys a little bit of information, what I'm using um, on today's video is my MacBook Pro. Um, this is the 2022 version. Um, I got this my freshman year of college. Um, super old, a little bit, not super old, obviously. Not super old, obviously it's 2023, but a um, little beat up, but it's gotten me through. Um, this is my vision board for 2023. Y'all will see that in the video. But yes, that's what I'm doing all of my planning on. And I also put my vision board and also use the Canva app on my iPad. This is the 2021 or 2022 iPad Pro. Um, again, this is just a different vertical version of my um vision board but yeah i really hope you guys like this video um let me know if you guys want more in-depth um video about how i let me know if you guys want a more in-depth video about how i do all my digital planning or if you want a video about my instagram editing or my youtube editing all of the above i got it how to make my tiktoks just let me know again all my socials just let me know all of my socials just let me know all of my socials are down below um tiktok instagram youtube twitter literally all of the above is down below in the description box um i really guys hope i really hope you guys like this video and let's get into it so the first thing that you're gonna do is open up the safari app if you are on a macbook and um i just made mine a little bigger and then typed in and then typed in canva.com so as you guys can see i use this for so many things digital planning um presentations and all of the above so this is my presentation that i did my vision board for 2022 um, this was my final product, um, as you guys can see. And then um, this was my original, like, rough draft. I decided to go with the first one, but yeah. And then this is my 2023 one. Super cute, super fun. Um, I love it. Obviously, I already did one, so I'm just going to do a mock-up for you guys. If you already have a presentation ready, you can just add a page, but most of you are starting from the home page. So if you're starting from the home page, what you're gonna wanna do is press presentations, um, or you can type it into the search bar and just click the first one. It's gonna bring up a blank 16 by nine presentation for you, and this will work for any MacBook um, and probably desktop. If you're looking for more of a custom um, look so you don't have to switch up anything when you add it to your desktops or um, iPads, you can go on Google and type in um, iPad or Windows um, pixel dimensions and then make a custom size on you, Canva. As you guys can see, I'm doing here on my iPad for my iPad Pro. Um, and it'll just bring up a blank page. But yes, and if you don't want to do that, you can also click flyer if you're just um, going to make a regular one for a um, vertical um, device or just to print out if that's what you guys want to do. So where I get all my photos is Pinterest. So this is just my homepage. And depending on what you're looking for, you just go into your search bar. As you guys can see, I've been looking up gym stuff, workout stuff, Instagram, hippie aesthetic, because I'm trying to change up my aesthetic. But I ended up clicking on the gym black girl aesthetic. Um, so how you download these photos 
um basically find the one that you like um i chose this one of this girl on the leg press and all you have to do is click the um three dots in the top corner um, and press download image so that's one way that you can do it and then another way you can do it is um, once you find another photo click the three dots on the bottom of the image and press download image it's going to go to the same place but that's just two ways to do it and then you're going to want to go um, back to canva and press upload files and once you do that you want to go to your downloads and it should be in your most recent downloads and all you do is press the um and press download and there you go um you do that for all of your images so um i just wanted to give you guys an example so you know what to do and um just press on the image um again once it's in your canva and there you go on your page you can resize them here i'm using the crop tool um for the image um it's really easy just to work with canva honestly it's very beginner friendly here i am cropping out the little tiktok logo that's in that photo um just to make it a little bit more cohesive to what i'm wanting Um, and it transfers to all your devices um, that you have the app or the website on. Um, so I'm just going to add some photos from um, my original vision board that you guys saw that I made earlier in um, December before 2023 started. Um, here I'm doing the using the crop tool again to um, change up um, and fix the photo to how I want it to be for my vision board. Um, again, for my vision board um, remember to customize this to exactly what you want um don't really try to follow um what you what you're seeing on my vision board or what you're seeing on other people's um think about what you really want to accomplish in 2023 and go off of that um that's the biggest thing if you're not going to accomplish anything it's not if it's not what you really want so 100 do that so now i'm going to show you guys how i get um words onto my vision board so the photo and the words that i'm picking out here says life with jesus only gets better and so basically all you have to do to get the words to stand out is you're going to go and click on the image and let's press em edit image and then pick out your background remover um, it's going to automatically do it for you and when it's a blank background behind the words it's super easy it takes it out and voila you just have the words left over and um, here i'm just cropping out the borders of um, the image and of the image um, in the words and then I'm just gonna move it around to wherever I want in my um, vision board I normally like to put it somewhere that has more of empty space than like on top of like an image or something like that um, but yeah super cute super easy I'm also gonna show you guys how to do one that may have some stuff in the background so as you guys can see in this photo um, in the background is just a Bible in this cup of coffee. So since they're very prominent, uh, the um, AI uh, easily uh, picks it up. So what I'm gonna do is just upsize my eraser brush and go in and just erase the Bible and um, go ahead and erase the coffee cup. Um, if I was doing this for my own vision board, I would definitely do a little bit more precise. But since it's just a tutorial, um, I just went in with the bigger one to take out the coffee cup as well. And so, yes, um, when I'm done, I just press done and then it uh, goes back to your original um, document that you're working on. And I just cropped out the little um, nasty edges that I didn't <laughs> really like. And voila, all done. It's super easy um, you can use for any image that you want. But that is kind of just our mock-up of our vision board. Uh, like I said, there's so many other creators who do a more detailed version of this and can help uh, you decide uh, what things that you're aspiring to. I'm also show you, showing you guys how to easily resize your image. Um, doing Using the background remover tool and resizing image tool are both things that are in come with the premium 
um, plan for Canva, which I have. Um, Canva is 100% free if that's what you want to do. Um, again, if you want to just make another one and add the same photos, it's really easy. Like I said, uh, Canva saves all of your photos. Um, but if you do use the resize tool, this is what you would do to do the same thing. You can add more photos and all the above. Um, but yeah, it's super easy and super simple. So when you're done, you're just going to click the share button and then download. Change it to either a PNG or a JPEG and then download it to your computer. Um, super quick and easy. So if you're on a MacBook, what you're going to do now is you're going to go up and you are going to save um, it to move it. To, you're going to press move to and um, pick desktop. And as you guys can see, it's going to pop up right on the side, my little image. And then you're going to open up your settings and go to wallpaper. And in wallpaper, you're just going to drag it into the screen and voila, there you go. That's the easiest way that I do it. Um, and now it's on my desktop for me to see every time I open up my computer and really visualize what I want for the year. So now we're going to go ahead and get into our digital planning tutorial of the video. So with our digital planning, um, we're also going to go right back into Canva. And um, like I said, I did all this and I, like I said, I've done all of this already for me specifically. So I'm just going to open up my 2023 digital diary, which is what I like to call it. It's a digital planner, whatever you want to call it. Um, and again, I want to keep reiterating this, customize it to what you need for your daily life. For me, I'm in college. Um, I use my planner as something um, for my daily attributes. Like you guys can see here, I have a habit tracker, a mood tracker tracker expense tracker i've separated it into months and done different things for each month um super quick super easy um like in august i customize it to a osu theme and an osu theme in november i made it all cute and pink since it's my birthday month and yes um, i only have up to november in this document because the december would not fit because um the overload of all of the images and everything but I just opened up a new document and did the same thing I did here and just made it for December um but yeah so once you are ready to start your digital planning you're just going to go back to your home screen and you're going to type in to the search bar notebook or planner um depending on what you're looking for if you want more of a spiral look you can go and type in notebook me I for me I like more of like a planner just a flat lay of what I'm looking at. So I typed in planner and it's going to take you to just a bunch of different planning templates. Like I said, um, if you are more of an hourly or a daily planner, then completely pick one of those that has your hourly setup. If you're more of like a weekly planner like me, you can pick one of those. Um, genuinely, what I mostly did was I went on here, typed in um, different templates if I wanted a weekly or um, a daily or a monthly um, just typed that in and went through and picked out which one I want. So here I'm just picking a cover for our little mock-up. So uh, for our little mock-up, I chose this cover. And so the next thing that I'm going to do, um, you guys can see on the side, it's kind of already suggesting different things for me to add. So I just went and picked the first one I saw. Um, you can also type it into this search bar if you want. But I picked the monthly planner and I just went in and started um, changing it up to how I normally would. Um, like I said, just change up all of any of the templates that are already available for you to make it something that you want to use or that's more your style. Um, or you can keep it the same if that's what you want. Um, so yeah, you guys can just see me changing it up to um, fit the month of January in 2023 because um, you have no idea when these templates were created, but, uh, the, but it's very easy to customize all of them to create what you want. So yeah, so I'm just taking you to January 2023. Um, super easy, super fun, and um, basically I'm done with that. So once I finished that, the next thing I wanted to do was um, show y'all 
how to add another page, just press add page. And the next thing I would do is add in my habit or my mood tracker. So um, I went back to my home page and um, again went to the search bar and typed in habit tracker. And I just picked the first one that I saw that looked kind of cute. Um, you can definitely search more and look for more your aesthetic if you're not someone who wants to go in and change all the colors and redo all the shapes and things like that. Um, but here I'm just gonna, it's gonna open up a new document of just the habit tracker. And all you have to do is highlight, all you have to do is highlight all of it and press command C if you're on a MacBook and then command V to paste it into your document. Um, and as you guys can see, this is my document, um, with the cover page and the monthly page already in there. And so now I'm going to go in and start customizing it. Um, I really just made the colors a little bit brighter, um, more energetic, since I'm someone who loves to see color everywhere I look. And it just kind of makes school more fun for me. So I just kind of customized it to more my style. But like I said, you can literally customize everything. You guys can see me changing up here. Um, but... Again, just go in and look at what you need for the planner that you want to create. So I was just clicking on a couple different templates. Um, if you're a daily planner, you can do the daily planner. I'm more of a weekly planner, so I clicked on that. And um, now I'm just like going in and kind of changing up what I like and didn't really want. That's more my style. Um, so I took out all the washi tapes and little characters and um, just change the words to um, January week one, um, just to make it a little bit more customized to what I like. So um, the next thing that I want to show you guys is that you can add things like gratitude journals and or um, 30 day self care challenges. And you don't even have to make a daily or digital planner with uh, this. You can really make a content planner. You can make a um, regular planner. There's really so many things that you can do. But yeah, that is the end of my video. I, I want to leave you guys with a couple of notes and refreshers. So the first thing is, is... When you are looking for photos and things like that, remember to always go on Google and Pinterest. If there's any other photo apps that you like, then 100% use that. But though Pinterest is my go-to and I love using it. Um, the next thing is to look for inspiration on what you want in your digital planner. Obviously, you guys are already doing that um, by looking for inspiration through my video. But um, also make this to how you want. Don't go off of other people's um, ideas for what they want, but look at their uh, yeah, look at what they're doing and then look inside yourself and decide if these are things that you're wanting to accomplish in 2023. And if so, then 100% do that. So yeah, uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video. And now let's go back to real life, Alex. That is it for this video. I really hope you guys liked it. Um, if you liked it, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Um, again, let me know if you guys want any more details. If you have any questions, just comment down below. And I got y'all. I read all my comments and I come back as much as possible. So, yeah. I love you and Jesus loves you too. See you next time. Bye. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's not in a